Indiana dog. Just the two of us. We can make if we try. Just the two of us. I feel like there's bugs crawling all over me. Thanks for the Whiskey River recommendation. Just picked up a few handles. It's awesome, Justin. Excuse me. Nine people, five thumbs up. I need that shirt. Here's some up. Woohoo afternoon. What's up, Daniel? Daniel Creech. Is there Killinger merch? No, this is a one-off. I had this shirt made for myself for an event. <laughs> Single bit is sitting in the sun as we speak. Fresh coat of BLO. Nice. Sounded like you enjoyed it. Whatever it was. I did. I hear pretty good things about them. Oh, yeah, Tiff has one, too. Did uh, the rug rat come in the house? You guys are wondering, I'm scraping this handle. This is a... This is a um, scraper. They call it a scraper. It, what, it's what they use in fine woodworking. Um, so I prefer it over sandpaper because it leaves a smoother finish and it's quicker because once I'm done with this, I don't have to switch to a higher grit sandpaper. I will switch to, um, four out steel wool. Before I coat it, but this just helps helps get my handle as smooth as possible before the steel wool. We're working on the uh, Collins Adirondack Cruiser. Try to get this bad boy finished up so I can take it out and test drive it. So in the process, we are going to uh, prototype some Killinger snake juice.
this is not the official label this is the old label but I tried a, a slightly different formula to make sure the formula is right Mr. Doug there is going to work on a proper label and then it'll be available You know it's smooth when there's a sheen on the handle. I use scrapers like that for getting that cruddy finish off restorations in these store bought halves. Yep, works perfect. Is that the best way to remove the finish from a store bought handle? It is. Called a cabinet scraper in the UK. It, that's what it is. It's a cabinet scraper. I need five UK shirts. I want to match 
each pair of the new leggings. Stop it. I use a more a knife, but that will work too. A sharp knife works great. One of those simple tools that do a great job, eh? You just don't know unless you. Electric Ninja, you win the internet with the channel name. <laughs> Electric Ninja. Mark in with a super chat. Thanks, buddy. You guys can't see me. Do you care? <clears throat> Thank you for the super chat, Mark. Appreciate it. How are you this evening? Isn't Wednesday your normal? Yes, Bruce, but the princess now has soccer practice on Wednesday, so we are switching things up. Yes, switch due to little princess having soccer practice on Wednesday. Thank you. Hey, Scrapers, although much cruder working for my father. He was a house painter. Doing well here, keeping busy, downsizing. I need to downsize. Bonjour, amigos. What's up, Journey North? Whatever gets it done. Where did I put that steel wool? There we go. I hope I have more steel wool here somewhere. Some more steel wool. I don't like to be low on steel wool. That's one of those must haves. So I'm just rubbing the steel wool on and feeling for the, the pricklies, I guess you could say. Just want it smooth. Oh man. Sure is nice. Now, if you're going to stain your handle, here's a tip. The stain will look much cleaner if you use this process. You, I'm not, you're not going to be able to see it. But down here, you can almost see where it's almost like a, a doll color. And then it's shiny. So where it's shiny, the stain will be nice and sharp, a nice sharp color. And where it's dull, the stain would be blotchy. So if you're going to stain your handle, make sure you get all that dull wood shiny, for lack of better terms. And right around your Fawn's foot is the hardest part. I'm not going to stain the handle. I'm just saying. If you wanted to. That's how to get a pro, a pro look on your stained handle. I like to give this a little bit of pressure too. It really smooths it out. Heats it up. Like I said, I can almost see a shine. Not almost, I see a shine to the wood. The wood's actually 
so smooth it's shiny. And that's what I'm after. We'll take a little bit of break in period to, after you after you get it all done for it to not be super slick in your hands, but you'll you'll eventually your hand sweat and the your handle treatment will cause it to give you some pretty good grip. So it's a little slick right now, but it'll break in. This is probably overkill. Your handle really doesn't have to be this smooth. But I like to do it. And it doesn't take long. Could she see that shine? No. Can you see the sheen? The sheen coming off of that? Steel work steel wool burns crazy. It does burn crazy. It's very flammable. It'll take a spark. It will take a spark. Let me read these comments. My shirt's all dirty. Uh All right, man, you guys were commenting. This might take me a minute. Let's, let's get my face in there so you're not just staring at my manlyhood. Um, okay. That's, uh, that's the wife. I'm sure she knows. I don't know what that was for. did I lose? Oh, the steel wool. <laughs> yeah, I just got it. Never mind. Uh, I use the Norton Bear Tracks instead of steel wool. I use the Norton Bear Tracks. I'll have to check that out, Peter. UPS just dropped off a new vice screw today. Bench is getting a new leg vice. Very cool. Um, Kevin in the house. Princess Killinger, the name has a ring to it. I live in Delaware. That's about eight hour drive. The old blue beast runs pretty good. Yeah, it does. Uh, I was surprised. I mean, I knew that thing was turned down, but I didn't realize it was turned down that far. It, it made a heck of a difference. Kevin says it's a pretty cruiser. Thank you. What's the make? Just turned in. That's a Collins 2.12. That's the one I hung in the video not long ago. Still working on it. We're going to finish the handle tonight. And then I'll put some edges on this soon. Probably should put the edges on before. I don't feel like doing that tonight, though. This one's going to take a lot. That's chipped up and... Chipped up and blunt. We'll just finish the handle. Um, Peppy 64 WD is from Germany and he says hello. 21 of us, eight, 11 likes, hit that like button. Yeah. Here's another tip don't store steel wool next to your grinder. Yeah, definitely don't steal, don't put your steel wool next to your grinder. That'll be a bad day. Mark, that is triple off uh, steel wool. Uh, <clears throat> dig up a good horn or something to bone the handle it to just open YouTube while I'm Patrick just Patrick is working on one of his handles as well. How's it going, man? Glad to see you. What's up, Brian? Uh, rib bone works well. Oh, I missed the rib bone. Just got 
in on a Lamica axe drop. I can't pack the cruiser. Hope they're good. They're very good. I ha I had a Lamica. It was a very a very high quality axe. Um, I ended up trading it for a Black Raven though. <clears throat> kind of wish I didn't, but it was a good axe. Joke about the steel wall. I get it. It runs like it should now. It does. After my first axe, like a proud papa. Uh, oh yeah, I found my notebook, guys. Karen Creek in the house. I always like saying Karen Creek, just how he would say it. Karen Creek. Jeremy. Here, Karen Creek. Uh, but anyways, I did find my notebook. <laughs> so we're back in business. Jeremy Weaver's in the house. Uh, we were, what's happening? Yeah, you got some filming to do there. Is one side fatter than the other? The two cruisers I have are forged like that. Hey, Kevin, in a second, I will pull my gauge out and we will check it right now. Uh, what are your thoughts on a basket? 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 I don't have one. I don't. I don't really know much about them, Patrick. Uh, so we're all caught up. Just got done with burgers. Man, I could go for a burger. Where's that gauge at, Kevin? Where's my gauge? Change it out. I don't think it's in this bag. Pretty sure it's not in this bag. That's, a, that's an empty bag. But let's check this bag. Oh, it's got to be in here. Hey, I just found another tape measure. Oh, it's not in this bag either. Oh man, where's my cage? No, well, maybe it is in that first bag. Okay. Oh, there it is. Oh, there it is. Of course it's in the file bag. check uh let's see uh just got done with burgers patrick they're the best x made uh old timer i have one left on the plate not anymore send it uh, princess is finished up her dinner and then she's coming out okay <clears throat> yeah kevin how are your arms you need more chopping videos Okay, well, Chris Liggett in the house. All right, let's let's measure these. I'd say that's about a 30, 30 degree. My eyes are not the best, but hello. They can't see me anyway. So this one's about <clears throat> this one's about 20 degrees. Does it have the that one's about 20 degrees? I don't know, maybe they're both 20 degrees. I gotta hold it up in the light. Hello. Yeah, they're both about 20 degrees, Kevin. You know, 
I have a thought on... I have a thought on that, that theory about the, the edges being sharpened to different angles. I haven't noticed too many double bits that have that. I think that that might have been a preference. I don't think, I mean, yeah, I'm sure there, there were some manufacturers that forged them that way, but I think a lot of that was preference. And guys would, would either grind their axes uh, evenly or two different, two different grinds like suggestion. Now also, I would argue that most art, most of our antique axes, ax, axes, where did I just go to another state? What accent was that? Most of our antique axes have never been ground. They just, they have the factory edge on them. Not all of them. I mean, obviously there's some that, that don't, but a lot of them, like that's the factory edge on that axe. It's never been, it's never been ground or sharpened. It's been beat up, but it's never been sharpened or ground. What about comments? Uh, what'd you have for dinner? There's a bee in here. Help has arrived. There's a bee in here. Everybody says hi, princess. The boss is in the shop. I'm not the boss. Thanks for asking. I'm still dealing with some pain, but the scenes are only around the men. I'm actually heading away for a long weekend, so hopefully in a week Daddy. or two I'll be able to shop again. Awesome. I can't really tell if it's a beer or what it is. She did put on her unicorn whip yeah. hat. Um, I think guys just got lazy and kept one side sharper. Probably. Pizza. Pizza sounds good, too. I have pizza for dinner. Go That's what there. you just had for dinner? Yeah, what is leftovers. That? Leftovers. Is that leftovers. Beef? Me? What? Um. <laughs> I agree, killer. I was skeptical it was even a thing until I got my two cruisers. In my mind, I would sharpen both edges the same, and maybe baby one more. That's that's where I'm at. I don't. I'm gonna put one angle on them, and honestly, what I say the angle was. I'll be back. Okay. They say it was 20 degrees. I'll probably just keep that factory angle on it and go from there. We had steaks last night. Chris Liggett is still debating on dinner. Poke lion here, but I'd want both ground and sharp for chopping. So it wouldn't be split. So it wouldn't be splitting wood with a double. Does hot box deliver? Yeah, it does. Does hot box deliver? Yeah, 20. So I, I would probably, um, I would probably, I, I'm not probably, I'll, I'll keep this at 20 degrees when I sharpen them. I'll, I'll just follow the factory grind and um, go from there. I'll test them out and see what I like. I mean, I'm not going to pretend I use an axe that much. I'm going to try. There's a crack in my wedge. No! Kevin says it's 86 degrees in Virginia. Lasagna homemade sounds delicious. Most of my doubles also have that beautiful side damage from hammering wedges as well. Yeah. This one's got none of that. Well, maybe a little bit. Okay, where'd you go? You guys can't see what I'm doing, can you?
I identify as an eight year old. In case you guys were wondering. Alright. It's about time to put some juice on this thing. I'm just kidding, they're not poisonous. Hey! <laughs> Alright, I'm sorry. Don't cry. There's people watching. Where are you going? Hey! Will you open that door? Come back. Well, she didn't like my joke. I'm a monster. She'll be back. Figure while we're here with the steel wool, we'd go ahead and hit the head. I mean, I don't like to brag about my hangs. But, I wish you guys could see this, how perfect that, there's zero gaps in that thing. And that, that's not super critical, by the way, guys. It's just, it's that's just a uh, um, craftsmanship thing. Just, when you do one like that, you, it's, it's a good feeling. So, don't be discouraged, because not all my hangs look that good. This one just turned out. I've made plenty of mistakes, so. I got a lot of hangs that, by the, by the information found on the internet, shouldn't, shouldn't still be working, but they do. This thing's got nice patina on it. It's gonna look good with uh it's gonna look good with uh some nice sharp edges up. I might mirror it. We'll see. Might mirror it. Uh, hazelnut brownie with vanilla ice cream? Man, you guys are eating good. 86 degrees there Friday for Chris Liggett. Liggett. About 80 degrees here in Michigan. Hit snow last week though. Same here. Uh, hi Journey. Perfect 74 South Carolina. Going to chop. If you're going to chop with it, definitely take it back some more. Get it down to 17, 18 then put a tiny second bevel on it. I might try that. 81 here in Michigan. We hit 80 here. Most days it's like we have two kids. Yeah. Um, see now which one's more trouble 52 here in south central Arkansas hit one we're in total darkness until oh Alaska sorry uh, journey north a taller one Phylax can be white or purple <laughs> Kevin knows what kind of planet it is that's awesome pick some for your mum uh, now I feel bad. She picked those flowers for me, and I made a joke of it. Now she's gone. They smell good. Guys! <laughs> Come back. Um... some shine juice on it yeah we're getting ready to go ahead brag you did like you did the you did 
the good work. Thanks, Bruce. Um, India Doug, uh, good evening, everyone. In Indians used to crush Fox in a bunch for soap. Okay, let's let's put some uh, let's stop messing around. Let's put some snake juice on it. Let's see what we have here. First, I will wipe it off. I need a man. I'm bomb Grayson look. Shouldn't have made a joke. Give it a good rub down with a clean, dry rag. If you wanted to get really crazy, you could take and uh, spray it with some. Uh, or I like to use Windex sometimes because Windex will evaporate quickly. And what that does is it will raise the grain and then you knock that all down with the steel wool and you get a super duper duper smooth finish. But it just it's not necessary. You don't want this thing sliding out of your hands. All right. Nice and clean. Nice and clean. We'll get our bottle of snake juice. Proprietary formula. Um, man, 39 people out here. That's a lot for a live for me. I should do these on Tuesdays. Which we will be for the next couple weeks. The craftsmanship hang that you spoke of is good. I was able to extract the factory metal wedge and use the original handle. I set it down quarter inch, no voids. Very good. Nice. Rebuilding saws. I use denature alcohol, vaps fast, more just to clean up before you stain it. Yeah, that's a good idea too. Denatured alcohol. I just don't have any. I need some I need some of that denatured alcohol and I need uh hi thank you for my flowers these are really pretty they make a nice centerpiece for for our video don't they guys um I need that and some turpentine I was looking for some turpentine tonight and I didn't have any the YouTube snake emojis look like ducks another steel oh no Write it in your notebook. Yeah. Good idea. Let's write that down. But I don't have a need list yet. I can write it in one of the days. Stay Tuesday. Yeah. Let's do that real quick. Is the suspense killing you guys? Everybody's probably sitting there be like, dude, put the snake juice on already. Pretty flowers from pretty girl. Okay. Um, I need this area. Okay, where do you wanna where do you wanna be? Well just for you, where do you wanna go? Right there? Mm -hmm. So be right there. I didn't edge All right, you guys want to come in closer? That pallet wall has me thinking. I love it, man. I'm, I can't, I got to finish up the rest of these walls. 
<clears throat> I just consumed enough sugar to kill water buffalo. I like sugar. I believe you're correct. I have a little 401. It sounds like a freaking dirt bike. That would be one nice. Good idea. All right, let's let's move you guys in a little bit closer for the snake juice. Can you guys see that? Okay. Hey guys, thank Mark in the comments for the uh, for the the new tripod. Mark was gracious enough to send me some gifts in this tripod has uh, become very useful. <clears throat> so I like to put this stuff on thin. Oh, look at that color. Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. So you put it on thin and over time the wood will take on a very dark patina. Just picking that up. Doesn't that smell delicious? I wish you guys could smell this. Oh my goodness, it smells like a campfire. It does not. It does too smell like a campfire. You don't think that smells like a campfire? I don't think so. <laughs> what is that stuff right there? What stuff? The stuff next to the flower. That's wood shavings. Wood shavings? Yeah. Why? I'm just trying to know. Doesn't hurt to rub it in. Oh, look at that color. Whoo wee! That doesn't give you goosebumps. Wait, how how do they say it? The fizz? <laughs> I'm just kidding, guys. Some of you will get that. Look at oh, man, it's beautiful. That is a transformation. Princess does not approve of the smell. you guys but there's just something about that and also you rub it on your steel if you're not going to use it to cut food if you're going to use your axe to cut food don't put this on your steel We'll put this thing in a vise and get get some on that wedge. We'll back this camera up and you guys can take a look at the whole picture. Daddy. What?
you think of that? Now she's got some grip. Ooh. So the old adage is <clears throat> once a day for a week, once a week for a month, and once a month for a year. That's how that's how you put these coats on. Just nice thin layers over time. Let that let that oil soak in and do its job. Secret ingredients. It smells amazing. Not edible though. Don't eat it. Please, don't eat it. Right, let's get to singing a vice. We can get some oil down in that. Uh, I like to get some oil in the. A wedge. Daddy? Yep. Can you use this? What are you doing? What? Want daddy with magic wigs? You guys want to come in for a close-up? Where is it? Oh, there it is. How's that? We'll let that soak. This microphone is right in my way. I can't see. Oh. I need binoculars to stop at Journey North. Interested in Nicholson New Old Stock Rasp? I probably am, yeah. Shoot me an email, ckillinger2 at yahoo.com. Send some pictures. Let me know what you want for them. Been thinking about your master notebook idea. I think I'm going to consolidate all my 
nature notes into one at the end of the year. Kevin, I think it's brilliant. I wish I... <clears throat> So far, I don't have very many notes to add to my master notebook, but I will. I'll, I'm getting there. I'm, I'm learning. Seriously, who said that? It was a comment on one of my videos. Looks like honey. It does look like honey. doesn't taste like honey, though. We're going to have to chase down dinner. See you, Chris. Always the best part it is. I love, I love, like, it's like putting the seal of approval on your work. I'd much rather use a liquid versus a wax. I want something to help the wood, not just make it pretty. Yes, I, the, I, I prefer liquid because it soaks into the wood. I mean, I guess the wax probably soaks in as, a little bit as well. Nice flowers. Lilacs, I don't know what they are. Uh, Kevin Kevin will chime in with there. So I feel like a part of the great community. Thanks, everybody. Mark, you're a huge part of the community. <laughs> Sorry, please. Nice for English our reference. He doesn't like it. Wrangler who? He has a new axe video out. Wrangler Star does? Is it that crappy survival tool i think i saw the thumbnail that's not that's not real can you make some killer green snake juice i can <laughs> cruisers are fun to swing this is the cheapest one yeah probably what's your secret recipe for a little cut with turpentine no no turpentine uh kevin uh hit me up on messenger i'll tell you it's not really a secret, guys. It's it's an old recipe. Um, old timers used to use it. I'm just gonna bring it back, put a label on it, and offer it for sale. If people buy it. That's great. If people don't, that's great too. No, is an Everything is edible once. Lauren, I'm not. I don't think they're uh, lilacs. It's back in the comments what they were. Get that thing in a few rounds of oak. Coming soon. What are you doing? I can't get that to be the size I want it. What? Is that is that good now? Mm -hmm. Are you sure? Mm -hmm. <laughs> you guys couldn't see that. Um, secret ingredients is spirits from hot corn snakes. <laughs> yeah. Daddy? Nice vice. Thanks, Fred. James, most of the Daddy? axe finishes have blood mixed in somewhere. Not by design. <laughs> nice little axe. Thanks, thanks, Kevin. Daddy? Um, no tears. There might be some tears in there. Axe therapy. Round wedge. I don't use a metal wedge. Um, yet. I don't know how else to say that. Um, okay, I'm getting rid of this. Daddy? What? Do not read what I'm writing out loud. Okay, I will. Because this is for the end. All right. So, my theory on metal wedges are they, they are a... Um, They are an adjustment. So if I go out and I swing this axe and I need to make an adjustment, the head starts to slip or whatever, then I'll put a metal wedge in. But doing it before, I guess it's it's like uh it's like a backup. But what do you do if the head does slip and you already have a metal wedge in there? I just swallowed a bug. Gross. Forget juices. Michael White Time Omer, Old Timer, thanks for stopping in. Did you check out <clears throat> Ingles Coat Shop channel? I did. Now it needs a sheath. Next video. Um, I mean, it, I could. Oh, I could make a sheath for it. 
You may well make a down and dirty one. That comment was silly when you mentioned it in your second solid racing video. What do you need to see so closely for? It's the time. Right. I, I set the saw up so that you get the whole picture. Like me with the saw. That way nobody could say, well, you switch this or that or whatever. I, I don't. Uh, if you guys want to get a bunch of, uh, bunch of aggravating comments and lose a ton of subs, upload a chainsaw racing video. There are a million little bugs flying around in here right now. Um, Chris, will we need to remove the linseed oil from our Killinger handles before we use snake juice? No, it will actually enhance your experience if you leave it on there. As a matter of fact, what well, next thing we'll do is treat it. Uh, we'll treat a handle that's already, it's already, um, it's already got uh, boiling linseed oil on. Many coats. <laughs> I'm okay. You sure? That's why it's good to have uh, wood floors. <laughs> I got my hacks dirty though. I totally messed up my my soaking. Well, anyways, it, it sucked up most of that in the wedge. I might leave it overnight with a little bit more. It just keeps getting better. I mean, it just keeps getting better. Okay. I put new beaver tooth handles on my old Jackson wheelbarrow. It looks cool. Very nice. Email sent about the rest with the link. Thanks, Daniel. Uh, Flox. Flox is the flower. Lilacs come up the same time as Johnny Lump Ups. They're ground flowers. Not a fan of primer metal wedge. That's patina like a rat rod rule barrel. If you make a sheath, make another green one like you did on Buckins double. No, that's too much work. I don't know if I'll ever make another one of those again. Down and dirty is my. He remembers chasing a bear for an old their old man as a kid. That'd be the last time. Yeah, I don't know. It was a fun video. It was a fun video to shoot, but man, it just it just brings so much drama. Not really drama. I mean, it wasn't that bad. It just it's discouraging a little bit. I was I was surprised by the amount of subs I lost. Not that I really care. I want people here for the right reason anyway. So, if they left because of that, they weren't here for the right reason. I can't believe how dark that is already. Look at that. Dad, do not 
read it out loud. Let's see, let's do a comparison. A before and after, if you will. I'm having the worst time with this camera tonight because I can't get everything in the screen that I want. Eh, is that a fair comparison? That's an ash handle. This, I believe, is hickory. That might not be fair. Heartwood hickory. Man, I keep running into this vice. Who put this vice in here? <clears throat> That's a heartwood hickory for comparison. So let's do this other handle. This is a. This is my most used axe. You guys have seen it in many videos. It's just an old beat up jersey. I'm gonna swallow another bug. And this handle has the wrong grain orientation, but I love it. It's got a big old knot right here. <clears throat> Terrible hang. I think this might have been like the second or third axe I ever hung in my life. So going on. Was 2008 2009 vintage so let's say 2009 10 uh 10 11 yeah 19 20 10 11, 12 years ish we're still running it so um, this is pretty much what I do for all my axes. I'll just scuff this with that four watt, four watt steel wool real quick. And this has boiled linseed oil on it, many, many coats. But I'll just rough this up real quick. Not really rough, it kind of smoothed it out. I'm not trying to remove anything, maybe some dirt. Nothing crazy. Hit that head a little bit. Got some rust treatment I need to do on the head. Get the case sauce. Daddy? Yes. I want to see it, but no reading it out loud. Okay. Do you want to see it? Yeah.
Yep, looks good. Get a little bit on the head there. Thin layers is the key. This it won't dry, won't dry right if you use too thick of a layer. Take too long. My question is, what would it do to that leather? I prefer open off some of leather. But let's experiment. Probably gonna darken it too much, actually. I, I won't experiment. We'll keep open off some on that leather. This axe is usually razor sharp. I'm kind of embarrassed that it's not sharp right now. So that's snake juice over boiled linseed oil. The only thing I don't think you could put this on top of is a wax finish. So if you got a wax finish on your handle, I don't think you could put this over top of it. I don't think you could put any finish over top of a wax finish other than more wax. And then my question is, is once, once the wax is dry, will anything per penetrate that wax after that? I'm just going to brush this off. Oh, why not? Let's buff it up. Can't hurt it. It's leather. I wonder what leather this was. I think this is Wicked and Craig. Feels like Wicked and Craig. Puts a nice sheen on it. <clears throat> so I'll let all that dry. Oh, that feels so good. Could sit here and do the rest of my axe handles, but I'm not going to. Okay, can I get this out of here somehow? Still got a good amount of people watching. Oh, I was trying to do something and I didn't get it correct. Uh, just like the chance. Everybody's an expert. What you lost subs over the chance? I did, James. Probably. Oh, probably 40 subs or so.
Drama means channel activity. Subs will fluctuate. They will. Good night, all. Be safe and kind, folks. Good night, Mark. You're probably already gone. <clears throat> Should have named it world's best chase race video yeah check your emails we'll do mark love my two french curve handles we'll leave the bottom as it is awesome james there's a, there was never a killinger sticker on there fred <clears throat> i have to go now it's late here in germany see you peppy people say hickory is better than ash that might be true but i have to Get to break an ash handle. Oak gets broken on everything. I'm done with oak. I don't know that. I don't, I think hickory and ash. The debate is more a preference. I prefer hickory because I don't like the grain of ash. I don't like how it looks. Daddy? Like it has nothing to do with the performance. You want to know what I typed in? What? I typed in cartoon eyes. Oh. You want to see it so far? Yeah. I see it. This is the cutest one that popped up. This is adorable. So anyways, I don't like ash because of the way it looks. It is lighter though. Anyone have a maple axe? There's been a few curly maple axes I've seen. Uh, Billy from do food for Chevy Dodge with Steel Husky Max. Shout out for grins. Yeah. <laughs> Didn't know you had a channel Indian, but I just sub. Open office that stuff smells good. Yeah, open office is my go to. I I prefer it for leather. Smells good, works great. Um, hope you enjoy it. Take care. I'm out. Man, he puts the stickers on what he sends out. They look good. I keep them on. Stickers only go on, um, premium Killinger handles. They don't go on B grade. And, um, this handle that I did for this, oh, that thing's already dry. Like, you could go swing this thing right now. This handle was a B grade. <laughs> Why was it a B grade? I don't remember now because it looks perfect but there's, there's probably something wrong with it it's probably got a pin knot in it or something uh i just started getting serious with me five months ago michigan has a bad axe nice well glad you did i'll be checking out starting tomorrow how long do you leave the juice on before wipe it off james i never wiped it off i just rubbed it in um Thin layers, just rub it in thin layers, and the the action of rubbing it in uh, lets it soak into the wood and dry at the same time. This handle's dry, which I'm actually surprised. Uh, like I said earlier, that this formula, it's one I've used, man, my head's bull. It's one I've used, but I tried some different... Uh, products <laughs> and i'm i'm happy with the results that's this is this is what we'll be shipping out if people want it if not i'll have plenty of for myself what was the stuff you wiped down your axe with snake juice jim i'm signing off too i have a lot of crafty to do see you tiff special blend called snake juice will be out for sale soon while wow, 40 people watch that on sub i don't get it guy compares two saws what's the issue right they probably got they either they're, they're either upset because i have a 1300 dollar firewood saw or they're upset because the 300 dollar knockoff saw wasn't done justice i don't know but i made up for it in the next video Ever use ironwood? I have not. Clayton, what's up? Hornbeam is in your hair. Um, axe maintenance, perfect. Man, my head. 
It was a really nice river time. <laughs> well, when you see it in the camera like that, it is a revelation. <laughs> what is going on? Daddy? What? Want to see the cartoon? Yes. Whoa, that's pretty good. Can I show the people at home? That's me as the cartoon. That's you as the cartoon? Mm -hmm. This is Grayson as a cartoon. It's a pretty decent picture, I'd say. Quite the artist. <laughs> it feels like there's a bug on my head. I don't want to see your bald head. Nobody wants to see my bald head? <laughs> I don't think so. I don't think so either. Man, I couldn't be happier. So this other one that I just did is pretty dry too. Got a nice grip on it. Oh! Do you guys smell that? Smell it. <laughs> they can't smell it. I wish you could. Imagine you could smell it! it smells like campfire. To daddy. To me it smells like blood. <sighs> In Wisconsin, we call it ironwood, but sometimes what's referred to as hot homeborn bean. PV and handle made people will buy it because it has your name on it. Oh, thanks, Daniel. <laughs> Indiana Doug with his nose. Will the juice be available? James, we're just <clears throat> waiting on um, <clears throat> labels. I just sent a bottle uh, to Indiana Doug because he is the master label sticker design guru and he's going to make something up really cool and then once he comes up with a design i'll order the uh i'll order the labels and it'll be available probably mid-may end of may soon then i just got to figure out the price because i don't want it to be expensive but i i can't give it away for free well, I could, but I wouldn't be able to do it very often. <coughs> Daddy, the next one I'm drawing is you as a cartoon. Oh boy. Here we go. <coughs> Look at that. 42 people on here. That's the most I think I've seen on a live in a long time. Three payments in 1999. Stuff as dense as a teenager. He's talking about the ironwood horn bean. I don't know what else to do. I guess I could put another coat on it. Let's do one more coat. Maybe. I don't know. I've been on here for an hour and 20 minutes. Looking forward to it. Cost is not the Daddy, issue when it comes to calendar gone. products. Thanks, James. Name on this product markets itself. Design is very, very cool. The color handle looks great and will only get better with more coats and age. 100% Fred. This thing will be, this will be like a gorgeous golden brown color. Like one day of use and a couple more coats of that stuff. Um, I hate like when you do a, a, an axe up. And then you put like just regular boiled linseed oil on it and it barely changes the color. It drives me nuts. Vintage Hillbilly Heads, what's up, Charles Bell? Are you still making belts and suspenders? No, not at this time. Um I don't know if I will again. Well I, I can't say that. Like I have some material to make uh some suspenders, and when I get time, I'll knock those suspenders out. But like I'm not I'm not ordering any hides or anything. Oh, wait, I missed something on me, my character. A Let's hold up. Guys got to run. <laughs> Guys got to run. Will there be a chat tomorrow? Not tomorrow, James. We switched it up uh for Princess to go to uh soccer on Wednesday. So, we're going to do it on Tuesdays now. Try boiling down a pot of coffee to about two cups and then adding about ten eye drops. I forgot one last thing when I make the cartoon. Daddy. See you, Kevin. Daddy. Did you hear me? I, I use BLO and let the color come. Yes, and it, it will. I forgot the eyebrows. It looks great. 
It will come with time. I can't stand it. Let's do one more coat. See what one more coat does. And then I'll let it I'll let it be. We'll go we'll go one coat a day for a week. Once a week for a month. Once a month for a year. If I can remember. Actually, when I I like to just when I use an axe, if I have time I'll clean the axe all up <clears throat> when I'm done using it and just throw a thin coat on it at that time. Daddy, your cartoon looks funny. Yeah. Yeah. Does it look like me? Daddy? Yep. In this, I have to put your hat to the side because it's like a cartoon in the thing, so it has to be to the side. Okay. Okay. I just feel like there's one last thing I need. <gasps> I came up with the perfect idea. Is that a mosquito already? A mosquito? A mosquito? Okay, can I borrow this to, to do the case? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the reef. Okay, I'm happy with that. I'm happy with that. Daddy, your cartoon's done. Let me see it. <laughs> Those are really good cartoon eyes. Good job. It's because I found it on YouTube. I mean, on Google. On the Googles? Out of here, remember don't follow the masses. The M is is silent. <laughs> James, thanks for the super chat. <coughs> Can't brush quality. The coffee will give you a good color. Had to put something in the pot. See everyone next week. Thanks, James. Snake juice production money. Just did you ever think you would have 40 guys watching you polish for <laughs> 90 minutes? <laughs> no. No. It's weird. <laughs> so, but we know how to get the people watching, right? That's pretty good, Jeremy. All right, guys. I think that's going to be it. Hold on. I... Hold on. Oh. Once you're done, once you're done, you move the thing. I'm putting this up. Okay. Okay. I think that's going to be it for this evening. We'll, uh, so you're gonna have the move before we end it, okay? We'll let, we'll let this stuff cure overnight, test it out tomorrow. Man, that looks good. Nice, nice mean, color on that. You mean you're gonna test it out tomorrow? Nice color and <clears throat> feels great. Good grip. This thing's ready to, this thing's ready to rock and roll. It just needs an edge. Yes. Very, I'm not very much of it. Very cool. All right, we're gonna wrap it up. Hold on. I'll uh, I'll let the princess put up her sign. But 
we appreciate all the super chats and all your guys' support and the thumbs up and the what views and it's also pro probably backwards for you guys the whatnots for you guys it's probably just it's yeah so every backwards. tuesday for the killinger live wood polishing show yep we'll do a wood polishing show every tuesday take care out there i will and uh that's a wrap i got I got some video in the works, so we'll see what, what I get out in the next couple days. So, see you guys. We will see you in the next video. So, Daddy. Huh? Before we go inside the house, yeah. like you can end it right now, but before we go inside the house, can I finish this? Mm -hmm. Can we what? Can I finish this? I want to go in. Oh wait, oh goodness. I must have must have hit the wrong button there. Crazy. <laughs> Alright guys. See ya. Bye.